Well, good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Monday, July the 3rd. Here are today's top headlines. A deadly dispute in L.A.'s Westlake District. One man gunned down after an argument near a food stand. We're live with the latest details. And thousands of hotel employees in L.A. and Orange counties walk off the job. How it could affect your summer getaway. And have you had a chance to look up at the night sky yet? It is fantastic. The first supermoon of the year is here. More on that. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Why ya? That's all I got to <laughs> Why ya? Where you got to be? Wait, why do you think you're even talking to somebody? I know. I, I don't think anyone's talking I'm to so you. I'm so impressed that you're up at 4 a.m. We all are. We, we want to be here. Why are we here? But you... Good morning. Maybe we won't be here tomorrow at this time. What do you think? <laughs> I couldn't even sleep last night. Those fireworks. Oh, I know. It's the fireworks. People, please mm -hmm. wait. Please. Mm -hmm. Never mind if they're illegal. Yeah, most of that's, I know. There's that too. It's just Could like start a all fire. night long. All kinds of stuff. But people are happy to be setting them off, right? I mean, yeah. it's so bad, like for us. I know. I literally, I'm like, we're begging you. Yeah. It's we like, just want to sleep. It's like Disneyland. Yes. Hi, guys. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Happy Good morning. Monday. Doing a little double duty. Uh, Henry is still enjoying yeah, some time, time off for off. his birthday. So, yeah, it's good. Uh, we have so many things that we have to cover. I hope that we're ready to jump right into it so we can get right on out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, wow. Check out HB. So, you do you know that there's like a huge fireworks spectacular that's going to take place Let's see, tomorrow. They're doing it on the 4th of July, and so it's a really big deal. You can see how it's going to be a fun festivities. What do people always say? Get there early. All right, so here's the deal. Oh, I'm going to click it. For our temperatures for today, we are expecting this to be one of the hottest days of the week, which is good and bad, right? I mean, so hot, but then that means come later on this week, we're going to start to see that area of high pressure that's sitting on top of us start to break apart, and then we'll get hopefully some better conditions, especially come next week. But for now, you see it, even our friends in the high deserts, here at 82 degrees now, boy, that's the cool time <laughs> when temperatures will shoot up to about 108 degrees. We're going to talk in more detail about what you can expect. A 71 heading north right about Rio Rancho Road. Remember, that's the site where we had all of those potholes. So they are saying that all lanes are blocked here along this 71. And this was from earlier, obviously, where people were really stuck in it. Kind of hard to get an alternate. You have to be prepared if your plans take you here. We'll move you over to look at the rest of your drive this morning and take you over to our other sigler. So we're hoping this will clear soon because it's been with us for a while. 170 North at Roscoe Boulevard with a couple lanes that are still closed here. And that is also a fatality investigation. We'll watch and keep our eyes on these things. I'll send it back to you, too. All right, Ginger, thank you. We begin with breaking news. A man is dead after a dispute led to gunfire near a food stand last night. Hey, Tilly's Aaron Myers is live from Ellie's Westlake District with more. Aaron, good morning. Good morning to you both. Now, that young man was shot and killed, and now investigators are looking for two suspects that fled the scene. And there may be quite a few witnesses, as there was that food stand that was set up across the street from where the shooting happened. We'll go ahead and get into some video from earlier this morning when detectives were still at the scene. Now, we are hearing that there may have been family members at that food stand as well. We are trying to get that confirmed with investigators. Now, we're told around 940 last night, a man was at the corner of 8th and Parkview when he was approached by these two other men. The LAPD says a brief verbal exchange happened and one of the men who approached produced a gun and shot the other man in the chest.